We customized a hydro flask. We customized a Yeti mug. And now, art family, we are customizing a Stanley cup. Mug? Tumbler? Travel quencher. Yeah, I don't know. This thing says built for life. I mean, that's pretty sweet. Lifetime warranty. 11 hours cold, two days ice, seven hours hot. I think I'll keep this one for myself. Sounds pretty good if you ask me. Anyway, I was influenced by Kristen Johns to get this thing. I don't know if you watch her channel, but I love her. And she is obsessed with these, so I decided I'm gonna get one and I'm gonna customize it and then I'm gonna drink out of it, cause why not? <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. And Art Family, you are going to be super involved in this because we are going to kind of capture us on this mug. You know, things that we have done on my channel together, maybe various art supplies, I don't know, whatever I'm feeling really, but you are a part of this. So thank you for being my art fam. Let's celebrate the art fam on this cup. And then every time we see it in the future, that will just be cool. I'm on a customizing kick these days, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Any other drinkware, maybe shoes, I don't know, let me know. Let's just hop into this. supplies are at the ready. My palette is not crusty today. Be proud. It is so satisfying having a clean palette sometimes. Some of these dollops look like Hershey's Kisses. Let's just tear this sticker off. Pretty nice, I must say so. I'm gonna set all the drinking apparatus, apparati, apparatus. drinking equipment. I'm setting it aside. I have learned to play music during this part because you folks and I, let's be real. I hate the sound. I'm not gonna use primer. I'm just gonna use sandpaper. And we're gonna sand this mug so that we can customize it. Helps the paint stick. You can use primer if you want to. I'm just gonna stick with sandpaper. Enjoy the music. This has been very thoroughly sanded, so we can start just doing all the art. I am so excited. Let's do paint dripping from the top of this first. This has to capture the essence of who we are here, our art family, and we like to paint. I think I will do that with Posca pen and then go over it later. I don't know. I'm trying to decide which color I want for this though. I think we should do yellow. It's such a happy color. So dripping paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't think it's gonna go under the handle on this one. It was hard on that Yeti mug. You can watch my last customization video to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind, but for now, no. Okay, we have the outline. It looks a little weird right now, but just give it a chance. It's all good. I forgot to say something. I purposely bought this pink one because I want the pink to show through. And I know in the past I have bought white mugs and stuff to customize, but I just thought I would switch it up this time. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Okay, since I'm a lefty, I'm actually just gonna start right here. So I decided that we are going to extract some ink from this Posca pen because look at this, we have a little problem. See this handle? Marker nibs are not gonna get that tiny little lip that we need to turn yellow. So let's see what we can do. Oh, you know what? I have to show you something so cool. So cool, so cool. Okay, first before we get back into arting, I made some new Blubblefly stickers. This here is the Blubblefly Queen. She is the queen of all Blubbleflies. It's holographic, it's beautiful. I love this sticker so much. And it's a very generous size, look how big that is. 
And then the elderly blubble flies. Look how adorable they are. I am developing a bunch of different blubble fly characters this year. So if you want either of these stickers, you can go to mirabyler.com. I also still have cozy boxes left if you want one of those. But I'm so excited about these stickers. So I guess that we will try to get a little pile of paint to come out of this. I am forcefully trying to make a Posca pen explode. And now that I want it to, it doesn't want to. Come on, explode. This is a weird command to give an art supply, but please. Hopefully this is enough paint to cover this. That worked so well. Okay, so the bottom of this is gonna be something that I think is really cool. So let's prepare it. So we are the art family and one of my favorite things to paint, and you have seen me paint numerous times, water. We need to add some water to this mug. I kind of feel like I might need to seal this yellow in first though, cause I have a bad feeling about it, you know? Just doing some little highlights here and there. Oh, this is looking sweet. <sighs> this is the part I'm most excited for, I think. I'm going to prep the bottom, and this is probably gonna seem maybe strange at first, but bear with me. I have this super light blue color, and we are going to do some fun little like cloud details. Hey, this made life so much easier. <laughs> I'm gonna paint it like upside down for a little bit. Okay, while that's drying, I would like to make this yellow paint here glittery. So I have this Martha Stewart holographic glitter paint. Found it on Clarence a long time ago. Let's just use a tiny dollop. There we go. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so we need to do an ocean on the bottom of this. I'm just kind of freehanding this and making up a water scene that continuously goes around the cup. I like how the lines are just very ripply for water. Okay, now I'm gonna cover the whole mug bottom with this. I'm doing the bottom of this as well, but I kind of think I want to make it gold later. We'll see. I added more glitter to this paint. Kind of hard to tell right now, but it's glittery. We're gonna paint the ocean. So right now it is super, super dark blue. So I'm just gonna make things up at this point. We want an ocean scene, we're gonna make it up. Google who? Reference photos who? Let's just hope it turns out, okay? I'm really digging the fact that this is like dark, moody water. It's making me want to do a giant water painting again. <laughs> okay, so I have the water kind of painted and it's kind of hard to see in this lighting because it's wet and reflective and dark paint is harder to pick up right now. But I kind of like the simplicity of it and how it is impressionistic. So I might leave it dark. That way it balances out what's gonna be up here. So these clouds, we're going to start going into cartoon territory now. We need little like eyes and mouths on these clouds, you know? This cloud is definitely taking a snooze. This cloud 
It's gonna have big eyes and just a weird little mouth. And this cloud, more big eyes. It's like one continuous cloud with tons of faces. You can decide if it's one creature or a bunch of creatures. Ooh, we should do like a goofy one there. Little eye, little eye. Oh, it's a sad cloud. I don't know, I just kind of went with it. Here's another happy little cloud. We need blush for all these faces. Oh, I just love adding blush to these faces. This one needs some blush. They all are getting blush. Let's be real. This is the fun part. We have to do a blubble fly, we just do. I think we're gonna do another blubble fly down here. And then we can do another blubble fly. This is getting awkward to hold. While that's drying, oh my goodness, there's so many steps to this. Okay, this is gonna seem weird at first, but bear with me. I'm gonna do a lot of brown rectangles everywhere. You will see why in a little bit. Oh, I have to awkwardly get under this handle. Layer two for the blubble flies. Blubble flies are drying. Okay, now it's time to do the paintbrush handles. They're gonna be cute and teeny. I'm not feeling the Posca pen for the paintbrushes. We're gonna have to use paintbrushes for paintbrushes. This just feels weird, you know? Ooh, I'm gonna do a bunch of paint all over this paintbrush too. That's why this cloud is sad. Paint is dripping on that sad cloud. I think I want a little bit of paint up on this paintbrush too. Okay, this might be one of the hardest customizations I've ever done. <laughs> it's just the shape of it and everything makes it a little more difficult than what I've done in the past. But it's still all good, I'm having fun. If I wasn't, I would let you know. Okay, so this blubble fly needs some wings. Folks, this is where we're at so far. And I'm gonna call it a night. So some paint can dry, we can come back to this later, and yeah. This is the mug so far, and I would say it definitely conveys the art family because I love to paint water, I love the ocean. We do quite a bit of that on my channel. I mean, we've probably done at least four water paintings by now. Then we have these cute little clouds with faces. Lots of paint brushes all over this thing because I just feel like that's the most accurate thing here. 
lots of bubble flies. And now I'm just gonna put a bunch of random stuff to fill the spaces. So, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like cutesy plants and stars. I'm gonna keep it simple because I, uh, that's what I feel like doing. I don't know. I feel like that's the vibe. A fern leaf would look really cool over here. I need to lift the tumbler a little bit though so we get a better angle. Whoever commented about putting neat erasers under these tumblers to paint them in one of my other customization videos, I forget who it is, but thank you so much. <laughs> You're a lifesaver, seriously. So now let's do this. We do a fair amount of plants in my videos, so it does feel like a fern should be here. It's kind of a scrawny fern, but I'm here for it, you know? Because as part of the art family, sometimes we do awkward things, or we make art that maybe we're not so proud of, or we make mistakes, you know? And it's okay, we get to learn from them. So this scrawny fern is gonna represent that. We are gentle with ourselves here. We improvise and we have scrawny ferns. I don't know, it just feels fitting. More than anything on this channel, I do want this to feel like a safe place to be an imperfect artist, you know? Like this is a creative outlet. We express ourselves and we can be phasey, we can, I don't know, make mistakes, and it's okay. Mr. Scrawny Fern. Maybe a couple more planty things. I'm not really sure, but we're just gonna roll with what we're feeling, you know? I was kind of scared to do that leaf for a little bit, and I'm so glad I just did it. I'm so glad. So now I think I want to go back to this other leaf over here and do the same kind of outline. <gasps> I just got a really good idea. Okay, so I have this sticker in my shop and it says be gentle with yourself. And I feel like I'm always saying that here on my channel is be gentle with yourself, especially as an artist and as you're trying to release all those pent up feelings and process what you're thinking in your life, you have to be gentle with yourself so that you can do that. Like art is not about being super professional and <laughs> creating masterpieces all the time. So be gentle with yourself, but also be gentle with yourself in other areas of life because we are people and all of us are not perfect. <laughs> and sometimes we say dumb things and replay them at night while we're trying to sleep or, you know, we don't get the grade we wanted on a test, whatever it is. And it is so hard to be gentle with ourselves. So I'm gonna do a similar flower. I'm not gonna write the words, be gentle with yourself, unless they fit, I don't really know. We're just gonna play this out and then yeah, if it doesn't work out, we can be gentle with ourselves. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm so excited. I don't know if I can sit this down though. It's kinda, I'll bring you over here. So the first thing we need is a cute little golden circle. I don't know if you can see that here, but there it is. There it is, my friends. Now let's do a little circle here. There we are so far. Feels like it's getting a little folk arty and I am here for it. I love this. Okay, we're not gonna put be gentle with yourself on this. I think we should do a face instead. <laughs> I'm just feeling it. You know, sometimes you have to roll with what you're feeling and a cute little face is what we need. Some blush. Oh my goodness. Okay, I want to do some details in the center. There's a couple things that seem fitting right now. Number one, masala chai. Number two, this yellow at the top just really speaks to me. 
and we need to tie it in more with the rest of the design. I really like stars lately. I don't know. I don't even know if I've told you that, but we're gonna do stars. <laughs> there we go. We can do another one up here. I thought about painting a moth on here because that does represent a fair amount of artwork that I do, but that sounds really hard to do on this thing. And there's not a lot of space left and I don't really feel like it, <laughs> to be honest. I could put one of my moth stickers on the bottom. Oh my goodness, I might have to do that. This is exuding a lot of happiness. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so I feel like I also just want to do random dots in random places. It's just, it's been on my mind since I started this. So I might need to do that, which that is kind of in line with a lot of folk art that I do. I do these like little berries everywhere. It makes me so happy to know that this is like us together as an art family on a mug and it's gonna appear so much more in the future, you know? I'm gonna do some more little pieces of gold. I don't know why I say pieces and chunks so much, but if you ever notice, I'll be like a piece of this, a chunk of that. Dorv and I were just talking about that. We have a lot of gold left. We shall use it. I just love gold paint. We shall let this dry and come back in a little bit. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, folks? It is time to bust out the magical, the wonderful unicorn milk. This stuff is so awesome. And at this point, you're probably so tired of hearing about it because I've been obsessed with it for, I don't even know how long at this point, but we're gonna use it. Let's just put it somewhere where it fits because I'm not washing this palette. Ooh, got my paintbrush. Let's make this magical. This handle is made of plastic and the rest of the tumbler is metal, so I'm not bothering with that. I can already tell this is gonna be amazing. I need to do a couple more coats. Well, well, well. Ignore my messy art room. The holidays were wild. <laughs> So we finished painting this tumbler and it is currently drying, but I'm too impatient to show it to you after it dries because I'm like really excited about it. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like with the unicorn milk. I just love how iridescent it is, and I feel like it really just captures what the art family has been up to lately. But you know, something really special about this, I should probably stop waving this around because it's still wet. Okay, something really special I think about this though is, <laughs> that was so satisfying. I'm still not to where I wanted to say, oh, let's play baseball. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm determined. Oh! Okay, that only took a couple tries, that's all right. This is what's cool though, this is what's gonna be special. Little straw, you know? So you know how I always use these tumblers? Water is so good. We get to have a massive art family tumbler now. I just think that's wonderful. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out and watching. This video took me about two weeks to film and a lot of painting sessions. I don't know why it took so long, but a lot of time went into this one. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you soon. I have some really, I feel like they're exotic art plans coming up. Okay, see you later. Bye.